I bought a pallet's worth of Apple products that are sitting right here. Now, this is valued at around $8,000 MSRP, but I was able to get it for a little bit under $1,400. I mean, you wondering, how were you able to get it at such a low cost? Well, these are from liquidation.com. On that website, they sell products that are either returned, display pieces, things of that nature, open box. And so you're able to get really good deals and potentially make a lot of profit. There's also the side of it where you can potentially lose a lot of money, which we have done many times. If you see this video and it ends up working out well, just know we've taken plenty of L's in the past on things like Amazon return pallets and things of that nature. So today, these are a ton of different products from MacBooks, iMacs, all kinds of different products. $8,000 worth, we paid about $1,300. Let's hope we can break even and then hopefully make some profit. So let's jump into it. That's a fake iPhone. All right, here we go. Keyboard assistant, perfect. It has the screen problem though, which is not good because this is a known issue with these. So I'm assuming based off the packages, this is probably like an iMac and other things like MacBook stuff in here. These are smaller. I know one of these is gonna be AirPods. One has an iPhones, I think. So that's one thing. We did an Apple return palette before. It was a lot of iPads. This is a bunch of different stuff. So let's see what we got. First thing up, we have, here we go. There's three products in here. First up, true wireless earbuds with power bank. Is this like an off-brand AirPod? That's not a great look. Yes, it is. All brand AirPods. What? Let's look these up. I can tell this is not like a super high, this doesn't have like a name brand, it's just true wireless. So the goal for today is we're gonna be looking up values based off of the selling listings on eBay, cause that's an actual realistic look at the value, not just like a listing of it. What it's sold for is what it's actually worth. Wow, these are worth $4. These wireless earbuds are $4. So let's take a mark or a knock away at the value, but this did not help much. Now, I hope that there's actually something good in here because that is not one of the items. Um, we have a smart bracelet for an Apple Watch, it looks like. Another one. This is an off, oh my gosh. Wait, no, it's an actual smart watch? What is that? What? This is supposed to be actual Apple products. That's not good. This is a fake Apple Watch. That's crazy. There's no power button, nothing. I'm not, it's not even worth, this is not gonna be worth money. I'm not even, that's, oh, this is not going good. All right, this is what we're looking for. But this box scares me. A model, iPhone 14 Pro Max purple US plug, 256 gigs. Oh my God, this is a fake iPhone, bro. Why would it be in that? That's a fake iPhone. Yo, here, take this. Look, I have a real purple one. Show them the difference. No way. How is this on an, an Apple actual listing? Dude, what? What is that? That is not iOS. What in the world? Dude. I need to pull up this listing. Hold on, let's go over to the computer. What is that? Electronic bundle i14 Pro Max. I paid $145 for this whole thing. I thought this was actual iPhone and AirPods. Somebody just finessed me. What is this, bro? This Android i14 oh my god this camera is so bad come over here come over here <laughs> look wait 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 wait. here we go here we go let's do this, let's do this. huh what is going on on this phone i'm that's a loss i'm that's a total loss i'm not putting any value i that's my fault i'm an idiot not an iphone I'm dumb. This is not all from the same person. These are from five different people on there. So let's go for this one because that was supposed to be a real iPhone and it's not. So let's open this up. This has to be an iMac. And oh no, they got a bunch of bubble wrap, which is kind of rude because you have to Destroy, oh my God, I don't want to get this everywhere. My cat's gonna eat it and cats cannot eat this stuff. Here we go. All right, pull this out. The cat is already looking over here. Here we go. Please don't be a 
fake iMac. Let's make sure there's nothing in here. I guess there's no keyboard and mouse. Now, we're gonna go over to this listing and, and let's make sure before. Ultra body iMac, widescreen fully functional, restored to factory condition with Mac OS X High Sierra. According to the listing and the manifest, this is a legit Apple iMac. And if it's not, this was 150 bucks. It's kind of realistic because this is a really old iMac. Doesn't have much power or space. They made this a whole hassle and a half. So what concerns me is this plug is not an, a native Apple plug. This is just like a traditional power cord, which may work in this instance, but I feel like it should be the Apple one. We do have an Apple logo on the back. I think this is legit. All from the listings and manifest, this is a real, a real iMac. All right, let's plug this in and see what we got going on here. Please turn on. Here we go. Yeah, this is a, this is legit. There we go. Cool, cool. Gonna have to grab a keyboard and mouse. Let that boot up. Probably gonna take an hour. All right, we got a keyboard and mouse. And yes, it is still booting up. All right, here we go. Keyboard assistant, perfect. That works. Come down here, it's a little laggy, but let's go to the stats here. This is a good computer. What this man? All right, so this is a 3.3 gigahertz Intel i7, four gigs of RAM, Intel HD graphics. So I believe, yep, this is a 21 and a half inch. I believe this is around a 2018. This is good. This is a, a solid system here. Now we just need to look up um, what the value is. iMac early 2013 Core i3, four gigs of RAM, 3.3 gigahertz, 500 gigabyte. Yep, this is the same thing. Last sale was $200. Now we paid 140 bucks for this. So this is, I think, a solid option. There's a couple selling in the 150 range. Yep, 150 range. So it's probably worth a little bit over 150-ish dollars, I would have to say. So there's a couple more of these items that are besides the freaking dumb iPhone. A couple of these items that we'll be listing on the website give you guys for steals because when we make these videos, we wanna hook you guys up. It's a little slow. It's not a brand new computer, but it works. Four gigs of RAM and I will take it. That is a W on the first one. We're a little bit over on value, but nothing crazy. Next up, let's go for this one here. This is a small one. This is going to be AirPods, nice. All right, AirPods are also fake easily, but there's ways to test them and make sure. So this came with four AirPods. This one says it was damaged. This is an AirPods Gen 2. Oh, these are really damaged and dirty. Won't even close. Yeah, it says damaged on the box. Next up, here we go. This is a newer pair. See, these actually look pretty good. We're getting no power, so let me plug this in. We'll check back in. All right, let's see if this power's on. We plug it in. We just plugged it in. Dude. Nothing. We'll leave it there. This is not looking good. That's the damage one. Bro! How? These are supposed to be in working condition. I'm gonna have to contact them. That is four damaged. How can they just sell four broken ones and not put that they're broken? That's pretty insane to me. Chewed up by a dog. And they're matte, it's not even. Those aren't real. These aren't real. That's really annoying actually. My only gripe with the Apple AirPod listing is that they 100% knew that those weren't working and didn't say anything about it. I feel like there should be transparency there to say, oh, these are most likely not working or I haven't been able to get them working, not just they could be working, they could be not, but I guess that's how they're gonna get the most money out of it. Actually, let's put this one. Aside. This one should be a lot of miscellaneous Apple products and cases, things of that nature. Here we go, oh yeah, tons of stuff. Oh wow, oh my goodness. Total pallet value, $1,301. 43 dollar or 43 quantity total. Let's start pulling this stuff out. We have an extended length charger right here. 
for iPhone. Just gonna pull all these out, maybe look up some listings of these. Your magnetic phone case, these cases are usually around four to five dollars, nothing crazy. They're definitely workable in good condition, but when you have ones that are like non-branded, you kind of just put them around four bucks. There's a bunch of wireless chargers. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have wireless chargers for days. This is for uh, like a mini USB, not USB-C. So before I show you and pull out all of this stuff here and see what's inside, because there's a lot of it, we're gonna time-lapse that. We're gonna open this last box before, because this is supposed to be another Mac. It should be a MacBook. Looks like it was boxed by the same person from the last one, so. Here we go, this looks like we have the charger here. Yep, this is an actual Apple charger here. This is gonna be the MagSafe. I'll try to save these bubbles from going everywhere. The worst invention ever. I don't think you understand. We do these videos, we try to buy legit Apple stuff and we end up getting sent junk and screwed, which is so irritating from legit places too. That's like, we vet, like liquidation.com is a legit place. And this is the second time that I bought from them and had an issue with stuff I've received, which sucks. So, don't recommend them at all, really. I don't. This is gonna be, ooh, this is the thinner MacBook. So this is a MacBook Pro. So here we go. Let's plug this in here. Plug it in. Yep, we got a charging cord. Charging. Let's open this up. Oh, kind of like stuck together. Here we go. Oh, I actually had this uh, MacBook before. Firing up. It has the screen problem though, which is not good because this is a known issue with these. And again, I don't remember that being in the listing. You can't fix that. You can't. They really, they finessed it. They showed photos at a certain angle so you couldn't see the screen. Dude, that's messed up. That really is messed up. It fires up, it works. It would be great to use this with like uh, external display. So if you like close it, tax the HDMI for an external display. Um, everything works. Fine, trackpad works good. This screen is messed up. Everything that works, typing works. Uh, they showed a picture of everything working, but they did not show the screen. Now, I don't know if I have any ability to fight that because it's a working thing, but they like took the photos like this angled so that you couldn't see what's going on. So I was able to type in the uh, serial number online and find that this is a 2014 model. Now, previous 20, 15 models, a 14 model sold for $150. 2015 models sell, they probably have the new processors in them, sell for about $500. So this is worth $150. So messed up screen, probably even less. Another fleece. It's kind of frustrating because sometimes, like it's, it's both. Cause sometimes we get these pallets and they're great. Sometimes we get them and they're really bad. And it's just hard to, decipher based off of photos and it's taking the risk and sometimes the risks don't pay because that's 150 bucks but i'll probably put on the website for 120 harrisonville.com i'm trying to make some of the money back so now we're going to do a time lapse of taking all this stuff out and show you guys the different things that we got a portable radio am fm who in this day and age is using a portable am fm radio okay we got a pair of the Hello Kitty Kraken Razer headphones. That's actually pretty good. This is a pretty solid gaming headset. They're used. Probably not a ton of value there. Possibly, we'll have to test those. So the Hello Kitty Razers. We're kind of organizing them in terms of like what they are. Bunch of, bunch of cords. These cords are worth probably like three to five dollars each. We have a ton of headphones. We have two actual Apple products so far. A ring indoor camera. Good, really wire-free earbuds. Again, super cheap headphones. We got noise canceling Bluetooth headphones. Do not restock. Those are definitely broken. Yeah, liquidation.com is not, not my favorite. The last time we bought from here, I thought we could maybe have a better chance this time. Here's a uh, car mount, which that's actually pretty good because there's no electronics aspect of it. Uh, some wireless chargers, uh, Pro Elite, it's like a Theragun, a gun massager. Oh, I see. It's broken. The top of it broke off. This is like a clearance store clear out. 42 inch tripod. We got, oh, this is actually good. An I, uh, iPhone tripod, make TikToks and whatever. I would say we probably have $500 total worth of product and there's $1,200 spent. So, we'll not be buying from liquidation.com anymore. 
done with that unless we get a crazy opportunity on something like Apple. In the end, we got two working computers that we'll probably be able to make 250 bucks off of total. That's about it. And then we have broken AirPods and this whole box. Now, this whole box, what I'm gonna do is list the whole thing for sale on my website and put it up for probably less than what I paid for it because I wanted to see if somebody wants that whole thing, just the entire lot of it and can do something with it, they can and potentially make money rather than individually listing it out. So my trust with liquidation.com and the sellers on there is kind of gone out the window and I'll probably not be buying off there again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like on the video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.